Hey, we're going into Wednesday, the inauguration of Donald Trump as the 45th president of the United States is going to be on Friday. And with that, I'm told there will be a giant series of protests in Oakland alone. In fact, you know, I went to Facebook and typed inauguration. In fact, I before I could even type inauguration, I in a when I typed those letters, it completed the Facebook system completed what it thought I was looking for and typed out in full inauguration day protests. And it had a listing and when I went to change the type from protest plural to singular, what I got was inauguration day protest Chicago, New York, and other cities. A list of them. And when I went to look more at that list, I found scores of announcements of plans of protests on Friday. Friday just may go down as the largest day of political protest in United States history. That's my personal prediction. Within that, there are expected to be 30,000 people protesting in Oakland alone. That's right. 30,000. And where did I get that from? I was at the office of the Oakland Post today, and one of the reporters was recounting information that was passed to him by law enforcement that the expected number of protesters in Oakland, I would ostensibly downtown because so many protests have occurred in downtown Oakland at and around 14th and Broadway, 30,000 people. That is a gigantic, a gargantuan number. Now to give you an idea how big that number is, there are an estimated 32,000 people who live in Adams Point alone. Adams Point is Oakland's central district next to Lake Merritt. It's bordered by Grand Avenue, Oakland Avenue, this is the Grand Avenue here, MacArthur, Oakland Avenue, and Harrison. It forms a kind of a triangle like this. And then you have the Lakeside Park here, and then Lake Merritt over here, okay? And then the I-580 freeway. So that is basically like taking the entire population of Adams Point and quite literally dumping them on, the down, on downtown Oakland and watching them protest. That's what we're talking about. So Friday so is a day that you're either going to want to, if you're going to protest, you're going to be on the street of Oakland. As to whether or not it's going to be safe, that's another story. I can tell you as someone who covered protests of Donald Trump winning the election, it was pretty dangerous in downtown Oakland. And you can look at my videos on my YouTube channel, Zenny62 here, and see, there was one, I'll never forget, instance where I quite literally was trapped on 17th between Telegraph Avenue and Broadway. When I went in this direction, there was a line of cops. The guy said, hey, get off the street, go in that direction. And they were friendly. And so I went in this direction, I turned right, this direction being to Broadway, then I turned right, and there was a open police van with one of those loudspeakers on it, moving in this direction, people running away from it, but then, as after I turned right to my left, because I was thinking if I get out of the street and go over in that direction, right, it's a parking lot near the uh, cannabis building. Just as I thought about doing that, someone set off an M80. Boom. So I thought, okay, well, I'm not going in that direction. I'll keep going straight. Well, I went straight, and someone set off an M80 in that direction. And you could see people running from here past me in this direction. More people coming in this direction. People coming from in front of me, but then realizing going... The, Behind me wasn't the place to go, so they turned around and went in the opposite direction. It was crazy. 
And I looked for and found refuge basically by going off of Telegraph Avenue, down 16th, toward San Pablo, wound up at a restaurant at, on what I would call, call the, the perimeter of main downtown Oakland, main and uptown, and caught a lift ride home. That was crazy. So if Friday's protest is expected to be giant, then it's rightful to believe that the conditions down there are going to be even worse. So there you go. Stay tuned for more.